I want to talk about a, a book that's been released really, uh, released recently, Himalayan Dreams, the story of Som Tamang. And uh, he's a local that's, uh, you know, very well known around town, an incredible guy. Uh, he's had an incredible background and uh, somebody who uh, got a chance to, to actually meet him and spend time with him uh, in the media has written this new book. And, uh, of course, a local keen to talk a little bit more about a talk that she's doing at 10.30 this morning. It's actually happening at the library there in Abbott Street uh, from 10.30 this morning. Free to go along. Let's find out a little bit more about it. The author, she joins me this morning. It's Kirsty Nancaro. Good mo- morning, Kirsty. How are you today? Um, well, thank you, Murray. Nice well, and cold and wet for a Friday. Yeah, nice to have you along, but uh, a good day to get out and about and do something a little bit different. Cairns Library, Abbott Street there from 10.30 this morning. Firstly, before we talk about what we're going to be hearing about this morning, tell me a little bit more about the background, how you actually met Som, and I think the fact that you were, you know, quite taken aback to hear his story. Yes, well, I am a media colleague, so I was working for the ABC at the time that I met Som in 2015, Mm. and uh, you might remember uh, there was a devastating earthquake in Nepal on Anzac Day 2015, and Som was a Cairns local who'd been affected by this tragedy. 9,000 people died in that earthquake, and Mm. Som's brother was among them. Um, All that Som had worked for until then to build a children's hostel, the school in his village, they were all destroyed in the earthquake. So uh, I began interviewing him going back and forth from Nepal um, to try and help rebuild his community and help other communities in rural Nepal. So that's how I began to, to know Som and the work that he did through Friends of Himalayan Children. And look, uh, he's got an incredible background as well. Uh, and obviously, you going over there to to, to Nepal, uh, you know, so different to the life that we lead here in Cairns. Some of the challenges, I guess, they would have come very much home to you as well, Kirsty. That's right, and and it really changed my perspective about uh, what it takes to make some, you know, make a, a good life and be happy. I was there volunteering about eighteen months after the earthquake uh, as a teacher in the school and supporting the sponsorship program in 2016. And it was a, it's a very simple life. Yeah, the community works together, they grow food, they collect firewood, uh, they're all involved in the harvest of millet and rice to feed the community. And uh, I was actually quite um, affronted when I came home by all of the things that we have that we feel like we need to, have yeah. to be happy. And I was annoyed by all the beeping that I could continually hear in my house, uh, microwaves and dishwashers <laughs> and the like. So I was like, we don't need all of this stuff to be happy or to, to yeah. function and to operate. Yeah. So it really uh, was an eye-opener for me about... Um, you know, how to live a good life. Uh, and I've just been talking about electronic advi- devices and the impacts that they're having, particularly on our youth. Now, the focus for some, particularly o- o- on girls and I guess opportunities for girls from rural areas to basically hit their stride and have the ha- have just a- an opportunity to get an education a- and to make the most of their lives. That's really been his focus. A- and certainly, you know, his background, I mean, it says here, uh, be inspired by the, you know, the power of education to transform lives, but uh, Himalayan Dreams, based on the true story of how a Nepalese child, uh, basically a child slave, overcame poverty, civil war, earthquakes, and a pandemic to create opportunities for children in central Nepal. Uh, so his background sounds like it's been quite incredible as well, Soms. That's right. He he was very passionate about his education as a young boy and at the at the age that he went to school there were almost no girls who went to school. It wasn't it wasn't uh seen as necessary for girls to go to school and he really felt that was wrong and wanted to change that. So um fast forward net to to the present day and there are the girls are going to school in Batassi. They're going on to become uh trekking guides for his company Take on Nepal. They're going on to complete their school and go on to university. And in fact, a couple of girls from the school are are now abroad, one studying in America, there's another girl in in Japan. So it's really opened up a world for these girls that they wouldn't a generation ago have expected for themselves. They would have been marrying early, having children young, uh, farming and looking after their husbands, Mm. in-laws. They wouldn't have been um, dreaming of having an independent life and means to support their own families financially, which is what what Som and his work has been able to do. And, 
and education is certainly the key. And, uh, you know, sadly in this country, uh, we're seeing that uh, education is becoming less valued, uh, as is science, as is respect. There's a whole range of issues there. We won't go into those now. Look, uh, as we wrap up this morning, the event happening uh, in Abbott Street at the Cairns Library from 10.30 this morning. It's a bit of a talk uh, for people that can make it along. Give us a better idea of exactly what we can expect this morning. So it's going to be a Q&A with uh, one of the librarians uh, in the library. So it'll be a little bit different to some of the other talks that we've, we're doing. And Som has recently been to Nepal, so I'm sure he'll share a little bit about what what's going on in the village currently. And um, we, mar- we marked the ninth anniversary of the earthquake a, f- a couple of months ago. So uh, he'll be able to provide a bit of an update and also um, share some of his story personally. It is Queensland Multicultural Month, so this Mm. is very much an event uh, about somebody who has come to Australia, come to our community in Cairns, uh, being given new opportunities himself to finish his education, to go on to be a a university graduate from JCU, and uh, he's definitely given back to this community as well as his community in Nepal by making education possible for so many children. So we'll be sharing a bit about uh, Som's journey and also my own in terms of uh, writing the book and my experience in Nepal. So uh, come along. It is free. It's 10.30 in the meeting room at the Cairns City Library. I will have books available for sale there and you can also borrow them from the Cairns Libraries as well. Excellent. Himalayan Dreams, the story of Som Tamang. Kirsten Nankaro, uh, one of the stars of the show this morning, also the author, apart from Som. Been great to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time. Cheers, Kirsty. See you soon. Thank you, Murray.